To begin our leak down pressure test, we've removed the exhaust from this Kimco People 50 and the studs remain. We're going to wipe off the flange with a clean towel, shop towel, which helps preserve the life of the rubber gasket. And we've got uh, the rubber gasket and the block off plate. And I'm going to install those. And we're just using the bolts that, or rather the, the cap nuts that came on the exhaust to bolt it up there. And once we get those on there tight, we've got our exhaust port blocked off, so that should be airtight. Doesn't take much on tightening it down, just it just has to be snug. Now we've removed our air box and our carburetor and we have the inlet manifold ready to go. I'm going to put the gasket over the bolts and our inlet manifold adapter in. And thread the nuts onto the bolts. I'm trying to get it so that uh, it's easy to see. But it's a little tight in there, so. Alright. And of course, just like the exhaust, we gotta snug those down. All right, and now it's ready to go. Now we've got the exhaust port blocked off and we've got the inlet manifold adapter fastened to the inlet manifold. The spark plug is in, so this engine should be airtight. We're gonna plug in our leak down pressure tester by pulling back on the collar and pressing it onto the manifold adapter. In some instances, such as this one, it may be necessary to block off some of the barbs coming off of the inlet manifold. Otherwise, the air that you're trying to pressurize the engine with simply escapes through the barb. In this case, we've got a small block off piece, and we're just going to plug that right over top of that barb. The next step here is to make sure that the valve on the pressure tester is closed. To do that, you rotate the knob all the way clockwise until it's snug. Then we can commence the pressure test, which is done by pumping on the hand pump bulb until the engine reaches, the pressure inside the engine rather, reaches 6 psi. We pump that up to 6 psi and we'll let it sit there for 6 minutes. And uh, 6 minutes later, if we've still got 6 psi in this engine, then it has passed the pressure test, it does not have an air leak, and it is safe to run. We're back six minutes later. Our leak down pressure test is still showing six PSI on the gauge. And that concludes our leak down pressure test. This engine is ready to go. It has no air leaks. It's safe to ride. We don't have to worry about the, the engine running lean. At this point, we'll go ahead and release the air from the leak down pressure tester by releasing that valve. Now I recommend that you release the air using the valve, that's what it's there for, instead of just pulling it off. Even though it's only 6 psi, it's still a tool under pressure uh, and you still need to treat it as such. So You can then pull back on the collar on the quick change adapter there. Remove the leak down pressure tester from the inlet manifold adapter. You can then remove the inlet manifold adapter, remove the exhaust block off plate, bolt your exhaust and your carburetor uh, back on, and you're ready to go. For the next demonstration of the TSG tuning leak down pressure test, we've got a Minarelli horizontal engine here. 
This is an engine out of a Yamaha Zuma and is uh, very common and is also cloned. So you see this type of engine a lot. All right, we're bolting the exhaust block off plate to the exhaust port with the rubber gasket on there, of course. Just like on the uh, just like on the test that we did with the engine in the scooter, with the the Kimco scooter that we just checked, you have to block off the exhaust port. You have to make sure your spark plug is installed, of course, and then you're going to select the proper inlet manifold adapter for the application. In this case, we're going to be using this one here, which is uh, pretty much the standard size. Push that into the inlet manifold. Normally, there's a clamp here where it clamps the carburetor to the manifold. We don't need that. Uh, this is kind of this is tight enough. But normally you would want to go ahead and, and fasten that clamp just to be on the safe side. Then we're going to plug in our leak down pressure tester. And we will pump that up. Whoops, I forgot to close the valve there. Then we'll pump that up to 6 psi. Okay, this engine has an air leak. We pump this back up. And you can see it dropping rather quickly and this engine if we were going to run it would probably not last long so what we need to do is we need to discover where the air leak is to do that use a spray bottle with soapy water in it and you spray the soapy water on places where the engine is very likely to be leaking around the spark plug hole you can spray it around where the head gasket is the base gasket and of course keep in mind the whole time that you're doing this you want the engine to still have pressure remaining inside of it otherwise you won't be able to see any bubbles when you find the leak if this were open the uh, transmission were open you could also spray it on the um, transmission side crankshaft seal and the flywheel side crankshaft seal you can also check the actual crankcase itself where the halves join together and here we have our air leak. We sprayed our soapy water around the in inlet manifold while keeping pressure on the engine. And we can see that there's quite a few bubbles coming up there. What this means is that if this engine were to be run, that instead of air coming out from this area, air would be going into the engine through there. So it would effectively be bypassing the carburetor. It wouldn't be carrying any fuel in that air. It wouldn't be carrying any oil, which is also important and um, it would cause the engine to run lean. Lean running can damage the engine causing detonation uh, which can destroy your piston and cylinder and if it gets really bad it can actually mess up your crankshaft bearings or pieces of piston ring or what have you could get down into the lower end. It can get very ugly. That's why you want to use a leak down pressure test to ensure that your engine has no leaks and if it does have them you need to fix them. In this situation we would go back we would pull off the inlet manifold and we would uh, replace the gasket, make sure that the mating surfaces are all clean, and, uh, and that's how we would go about repairing this problem. And that concludes our demonstration on the TSG Tuning Leak Down Pressure Tester. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I can be reached via telephone at 336 506-7333 or you can reach me by email at josh at the scooter and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you that I can. Thank you.